Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Rico with No Boring Concrete. And uh, today we are gonna talk about some tops. Um, I just wanted to do a real quick video on this. A lot of people always ask, um, are your concrete countertops uh, poured solid? What's the underside look like? Why is it reduced by so much weight like you were talking about in your previous video? You know, what, what's the difference between that? First, first thing I wanna do is make a, uh, a disclosure if you wanna call it. Not all concrete is created equal, if, that, if I said it right. All I'm trying to say is all concrete is not made the same in the sense of the concrete that you put in your slab driveway, on your pool deck, on your home floor, whatever it is, is not the same concrete that we're using today for concrete countertops. So don't think that maybe your brother-in-law or your cousin or uncle is gonna be able to cast these tops. They can, they can, they can do it the old fashioned way, but the way that we're doing it is, is, is a <clears throat> newer technology, it's a different mix, it's a stronger mix, and you will never get the finished looks uh, the way that we're casting this, the way uh, if you were to do it the old fashioned way, that is. So I'm gonna do a little quick walkthrough and show you the underside of the stuff that we're working with. Again, it's glass fiber reinforced, known as GFRC. There's a few other mixes that people uh, come up with and have different uh, abbreviations or acronyms or whatever. But uh, the one I'm working with is just glass fiber reinforced concrete. And uh, we're gonna just do a quick walkthrough here. So here we have uh, the concrete, and this is the number one reason why it's reduced. We pour in a layer at the bottom uh, of the base here, um, which ends up being these sections. And then we build up the, the profile edge like a picture frame all the way around. The only reason I added these pieces in here is because I can actually use the same glass fiber reinforced concrete um, with, with a heavier load of fibers and make this uh, a structural uh, integral, almost like a, a, a vertebrae or a skeletal system. And it's just like if you think about the framing of a house, you have your you can have a the, the perimeter like the box of the house but now you have your framing in between that's going to support the drywall and the studs and that kind of stuff so that's kind of what this is doing and what this allows is it allows a lot more strength and structural uh strength as well in the in the process of when we're having to flip these molds around when we have to carry them it just gives it a, a stronger framing and you don't have to use the rebar we're not having to use a bunch of heavy duty stuff and then at the same time all this area that normally is filled with concrete is now taken out of the equation, it's reduced. This is about three quarters of an inch thick, and then the profile is gonna be an inch and a half thick. And so, uh, in a little bit, we're gonna be demolding these out of the, out of the, the, the forms that they're in, uh, cleaning them up, and then letting them dry out before we go ahead and finish them off, process them, and seal them. Uh, we have a uh, delivered uh, schedule date for tomorrow, so we're cutting it kind of close, but it's, it's, it's Nothing, nothing new around here with no boring concrete, but we get the job done and the, the tops look great every single time. And I just want to show you real quick uh, another set. Uh, here's the same same uh, set of uh, tops going in the house, in the same house I should say, but a uh, different part of the room. This is going to be uh, a long connecting piece that goes in the dining area. The other one's going to be in the living room. And uh, like I said, we're going to be taking these out of the mold and cleaning them up and going from there. So if you have any questions, any concerns, please feel free to ask. Please subscribe. I have had several people call, uh, call me directly actually, uh, email me, message me, and text me and that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm open to, to, to answer any questions and help out in any, any possible way that I can. Um, and like I said, because you're a decorative concrete artist uh, or a dec decorative concrete installer, uh, make sure you learn the right proper ways to cast concrete countertops and if you hire someone if you're a customer and you're looking to hire someone to do the tops um, like the way I like to say it is I wouldn't hire my framer to do my finished work or my finished trim work my framer can frame out and do all the roughing work but my finished trim guys are going to make that detail the crown molding look phenomenal I would consider myself to be the crown molding detail person of my of my industry uh, where I can have guys who pour slabs all day long, but when it comes to this stuff, I'm very particular and I, I, have, I have to have it look a certain way. And the customers, at least the ones that, that come out to me, have a, a very high expectation of what they're wanting to. For one, they think regular concrete is just regular concrete. Two, they're thinking, why in the world should I pay for regular concrete that I can buy at Home Depot or Lowe's in the bag mix and then uh, and pay the same 
price as granite or marble, if not more. And at the end of the day, when people say, how does it compare granite with your concrete or marble with your concrete, I tell them it doesn't. There's no way that you can do and achieve the looks that I can do on these concrete countertops that you can get from a, a marble slab or a granite slab. We can do stuff where we embed trivets, inlays, texture patterns, designs, colors that will blow your mind, features that you would never even think of doing, and, and, and people will question all day long. Wow, that's concrete? So that's the cool thing about it. And that's my job to educate you, the consumer, the client, the customer, uh, that when you make a decision, you're making the right decision. This is not for everyone, but if you're looking for it, make sure you contact the right person to install it. With that being said, this is NoBoringConcrete.com. Subscribe, like, follow us, and uh, you know where to reach us. See you.